Snap Construction will give you a thorough assessment and let you know the condition of your roof. We are trusted by a number of insurance agents in the Metro to give them just that, an honest assessment. Last year's storm is just starting to reveal damage on homes that didn't show damage last year. If you were in the path of a storm and were denied, it's worth an extra look. Freezing, thawing conditions and spring rains will wash away the damaged granules that are covering up damage from last year's storm. Call Snap Construction, arguably the most well-reviewed exterior contractor in the metro area at 612-333-SNAP or find them online at snapconstruction.com. Need a stone to change your luck or break a curse? Try Larvikite, known for its hex-breaking powers. Need an herb to repel negative spirits? Try Rue, used to repel demons and gin. Want to create a decoy so black magic can't touch you? Make a witch bottle. For more magical advice, visit Magus Books in Minneapolis. We've got the tools and the expert advice you need to succeed against the dark arts. Find us at 1848 Central Avenue Northeast in Minneapolis or at magusbooks.com. With a look at your AM 950 weather, I'm Patrick Lilia. Tonight, partly cloudy with a low of 42. Then Thursday, sunshine with a high of 67. Warner Stallions Grill Expo is this weekend. Experts will be cooking in the hottest grills of 2024, and you'll buy at the lowest prices of the year. Relax with free assembly, drop-off, and free no-name meats and seafood. Grill Expo is this weekend only at Warner Stallion. Portions of the following program may be pre-recorded. The views expressed and the opinions given by the individual host, guest, random reptoid, or chupacabra may not necessarily reflect those of AM950 Radio, its affiliates, or its sponsors. Now, it's time to step into the unknown. <laughs> There are things people experience but never talk about. A shadow moving in the corner, flickering of the lights, a disembodied voice. We invite you to talk with us, share your story, share your experience, because this isn't just your story, this is our story. This is Ghost Box Radio with Greg Bakken. And this is Ghost Box Radio on AM 950, where every night we talk about the paranormal, UFOlogy, Bigfoot, and so much more. My name is Greg Bakken. Thank you very much for joining me on this fantastic Wednesday. We're in the middle of the week. We are, I hope everyone's having a good week so far. I'm, I'm having not too bad of a week, uh, in case anyone asked and no one did. Thank you all the same. Uh, but I wanted to also say hello to Adam back at the studio tonight. How are you doing, Adam? Doing well. Hello, sir. How was your week been? there well thank you 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 know i mean i mean i'm and i'm sure you're going to ask that regardless right i mean that's just it was anyways because normally it's how you been (laughs) yeah exactly uh how's your week been so far monday i grilled steak so it started Mm. off well grilled steak yeah grilled steak and sushi i introduced my father-in-law who's living with us to the joys of sushi and he didn't like it you you grilled sushi no i grilled the steak Okay, and then yeah. had the sushi inside, okay. and I used the rice to, you know, sop up the juice, so you get beef and fish at the same time. Beef and fish, I, I like both of them. I, I do notice. Uh, I was not invited to that, but that's okay. I'm, I'm sure that was uh, just a mistake. And uh, it was actually a whim. So, <laughs> <laughs> no, it sounds very good. It sounds very good, and the weather is getting much better out here for sure. And. Uh, yeah, that's that sounds great. I'm thinking about doing some steak this weekend as well. Yeah, it's funny how we we talk about food a lot on the show, isn't it? When you and I get on together, we really do. And the one time we were going to devote an episode to food, we didn't talk about it. I felt bad. You were a sick man. I didn't want to. I didn't want to uh, make it bad for you. I, I I care. That's that's my problem. That's Thanks for caring. That's that's my one uh, Achilles heel right there. Is is caring too much? It, sadly, it is. And I hate saying that because, you know, you've got this whole dark gothling demeanor going on. But no, it it really is your one downfall. My dark demeanor with my green hoodie. Yeah, it's uh... <laughs> it was black. That's 22 years old. It should be right. the I own two pieces of clothes and they're both hoodies and nothing else. <laughs> uh, so anyway, uh, you know, uh, Adam and I have talked a lot about uh, coming up over the last uh, week or so, how we look forward to these Wednesday nights because uh, we have on with a psychic medium, refined divine Deb. 
Uh, we're going to be doing one question readings tonight, as we always do, plus the fact that Deb is, uh, you know, she brings, she does a mediumship live on these things too, which is still really, to me, it's just special. I know that's just how she operates, but to me, that's really special to be able to do that. So Deb, how are you tonight? I'm great. Thanks. Wow, that's 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 uh, that's that you you're so lively before the show, and now you know is this is this your on air personality that we are getting here tonight? Or I'm fantastic, Greg. Thank you so much for asking. I can't wait to get started. So how how's your ears, yeah. Adam? How's how's the board? Is uh, <laughs> it's smoking right now? Give me a <laughs> it's, it's it's we there's a lot of there you know it's 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 funny because FCC has these things called legal audio and I think that that is no longer it's it's because it just breaks through there's all that little glass that's on those meters I heard them smashing over at the station so uh, but you know I asked for it and that's that's good uh, so. <laughs> hey, you know what I wanted to ask you? I didn't ask you before we got on here. Uh, what's going on uh, coming up for you, like appearances and stuff? Uh, what's what's uh, what should we know about? Okay, so this um, this weekend we are in Marshfield, Wisconsin, and then okay. next weekend we're in Toma, Toma, no, Wisconsin, DeForest. 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 Sorry, DeForest. Oh yeah, DeForest, Wisconsin, and then Toma, Wisconsin. And once again. Yeah, we're in all three. Okay, a gallery at all three. And uh, once again, folks, yeah. to to be able to see where Refined Divine is going to be, uh, you could go over to refineddivinepsychic.com. You're going to see not only where she's going to be at, but you're also going to be able to see all the services, classes, uh, the retreats, everything else that she offers as well. And plus, uh, go and seek out her Facebook page, Refined Divine. Uh, there is so much that she posts. Uh, honestly, it's it's fantastic. And so definitely uh, check all that out. Tonight, we're going to be doing one question readings. And uh, I'd, I invite everybody to do it two ways. Number one, put your questions in the comment se section. Uh, go ahead, put in whatever you want to ask. Uh, you know, the, the things that we prefer not being asked is, you know, like medical stuff, like, you know, I got a pain in my leg. What does that mean? It means that you need to go to the doctor. And, you know, I'm just going to, I'm just going to field this one for Deb. You, you need, need to go to the doctor. Okay. Uh, you can also uh, call in and uh, what, and the, the number is, and we're already getting calls. And once again, my dear friends, calling gets you to the top of the list. It's just how it works. You just go, it's the VIP treatment at uh, KTNF AM 950, and uh, that's just how it works. Call in 952-946-6205, 952-946-6205. We're going to ask a favor tonight because we want to try to get through as, um, as many as we can. Just Deb doesn't want any uh, like background information about like your question. She just wants the question itself. Uh, because that that's just what she needs. That's all she needs to be able to give you the reading that you're asking for. That way we can also kind of move uh, folks along as well. Uh, she, we all would love to hear background and stuff, but sometimes we just want to make sure that we get people through as, as quick as we can. The other thing, we talked about medical. We also don't want politics either. I don't want to hear about politics. My show has been uh, pretty much apolitical. Um, so... Does that sound good, Deb? Yes, absolutely. That's another reason why I chose your show, apolitical. Apolitical. We don't we don't want to talk about any of it. And in fact, why don't we get started? Nope. Let's go. Let's go to. Yeah, let's uh, go. Heather. Let's go to Heather. Uh, Heather, uh, welcome to Ghost Box Radio. Hi. Thanks for having me. Oh, my pleasure. How are you tonight? I'm fantastic. How are you guys? I'm. We're doing great, actually. Uh, what you got for Deb tonight? Hi, Deb. Just wondering um, if I should make an offer on the house I looked at today. I just got a yes. My heart rose way up. Um, it looks like it's going to be a really good thing for you. Um, getting your own space. Um, being uh, Just being alone is what I keep hearing. Woohoo! Let the party begin. <laughs> Does that sound about right? <laughs> yes, yes. 
Yeah. Yeah. That's why I'm here. Let the party begin. <laughs> Being alone. <laughs> All right. Uh, excellent. <laughs> yeah. Does, does that does that help? Does that make sense? Well, yeah, I was going to leave it up to her. Um, well, not literally up to her, but anyway, yeah, no, it makes total sense. Oh, good. Yeah. Good. So yeah. then you're going to send us pictures once you get settled in of the house and how much you're enjoying it and everything else, right? Yes, I will. Gee, Heather's like, party Heather's like, no, I'm not doing that. You're, you're, you're. Cool. I want to be alone, dang it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See, I knew it. I could feel it. <laughs> alone <Yep>. again. <laughs> alone <Yep>. again. <laughs> that's what I heard. Loud and clear. <laughs> that's great. Uh, yeah, well, that's that's perfect. But you please uh, let us know how it turns out and stuff. And and uh, I'm looking forward to hearing that. Congratulations on your new house. All right. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Have a good night. You too. Thank you very much. Uh, we are doing one question readings tonight with the fantastic psychic medium, Refined Divine. Uh, we're talking, whatever's on your mind, just, you know, no medical, no political. And uh, it's uh, it's it's meant to help you out, maybe uh, bring through Uncle Charlie. I don't know. Um, but uh, I just, uh, I just, it's, these are special nights for us. So please uh, give us a call. 952-946-6205 or you can put something into the comments and we have joshua into the comments i'm going to put this on here uh joshua says good evening does refined divine think the healing will continue Um, so when I look into the energy of that, Josh, absolutely. Um, every step you're taking is towards the embetterment of self. And you, there's a lot of new discovery as of late, right? With like who you are. Um, it's more emotional than it is medical. Um, what is going on is definitely emotional. So don't worry about that. I just felt like a shift towards worrying about medical. It's more emotional for you. So understanding that once you decide that this is going to be a betterment for your life, then you're going to take that stuff to do that. But it's just about knowing that's where it's going. Like I, I'm just hearing like your guides are saying, you just got to know where you're going and making sure that you keep that focus and not letting that down, you know, because when you start self doubt yourself and you start to think about other things other than being better, like when you concentrate on the bad, not the good, then you're going to go backwards. So always just focusing on the positive is what I keep hearing. And, and, you know, Josh was so sweet. He's like, hope mine wasn't medical. It wasn't meant to be. I, you know, personally, when Joshua put that in there, that never even crossed my mind about it being medical. You know, I totally understand the need to heal and, and uh, the journey yeah. that we're all on, right? Yeah, well, it comes from, you know, sickness is emotional. You know, so yeah. when we think about that, all emotions become ailments and diseases inside the body. Louise, hey, you can heal your life. The best book ever written on how emotions are illnesses. And also the encyclopedia of ailments and diseases is amazing. I've helped a lot of people help heal their lives with understanding the emotions cause things in our bodies. So, um, yeah. So just staying positive is what I hear. Stay positive. And and that's that's great. And 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 Joshua, I, I hope that uh, number one that this uh, helps you. But I do hope that that healing uh, does continue. Uh, Joshua is has uh, been you know putting comments in a number of the different programs that I I do, and and it's always great to see him on. And uh, I hope that everything uh, goes well for you. Um, now uh, moving on here. Once again, we're doing one question readings with psychic medium refined divine what does that mean do you have a question that you want to know about your job do you want to know about uh, love life money whatever else uh put it into the comments we're going to get there also you can call in 952-946-6205 that's 952-946-6205 and at the moment you know, things are kind of uh slowly starting for us uh, getting people in so if there's something you want to talk about this is a good time to uh, put it in there. Joanne uh, says, uh, "Can you tell me if um, can you tell me if my daughter's house will be sold soon?" And Greg, I'm not calling. I'm in Canada. Wow, that's that, that told me. Um, <laughs> she, had, she had a little bit of your your fire over there for some reason. It was a fiery night. I don't know. <laughs> um, the daughter's house is wanting to be. So can you answer this for me? Joanne, is the daughter's house wanting to be sold so that she can move closer to you? Is that a yes? 
Can you put that in the comments, please? As you know, and I'm I'm really a good radio host. I'm waiting silently while people outside of Minneapolis are are like, why is yeah. this dead air? Uh, okay. Joanne says yes. Yeah, she said yes. Yeah. So I got a yes. It's going to sell um, because she has that passion for getting closer to you. It's going to go really fast. Yep. And, and Joanne is another one uh, who I, it's just a sweet, sweet person. So, uh, you know, it's good to hear good things happening, uh, whether that means the daughter moving closer and, and everything else. Um, and uh, that's, that's a great news. Oh, uh, move in with her. Move in with her. Ah! Breaking news. Break, breaking Joanne that, news. I felt like it was to come to you. Like Spirit said right away it was to come to you. And because of that, it was going to be fast. That's great. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Let's uh, move things through here. Uh, let's see. Okay, so uh, Anjali here. So she's new here. She says, hi, sweetie, clearly talking to me. Uh, can I get any guidance message for me uh, my, uh, and my uh, Janer relationship, please? I don't know. I'm, I'm assuming that's a, I don't know what that is, Janer. I don't know if that is either, but I can definitely go into this energy and it feels like that relationship is up and down. It feels like there's a lot of pull but, and pull by, I mean, like it's like up and it's down. It's like roller coaster. When I look into the energy of this and it feels like we're not sure if we should or shouldn't be here or what we should do. So understanding, making a clear um, reasoning inside of yourself for which path you want to take because they're saying to me that that you're not making a clear decision and understanding when you're not making a clear decision then you're making the universe bring back multiple energies at one time and that's a lot of the shifting that's happening so understanding that making a choice and sticking with that and then staying on that path is going to bring what you actually want to come to fruition so they're saying make a choice and then absolutely. i hear that i hear this thought I'm hearing the song, take a chance, take a chance, take a chance on me. <laughs> so somebody definitely wants you to please reach out and take that chance. That is awesome. Oh, yes. Janer, breaking news again. Uh, Janer is her boyfriend or is their boyfriend. Excuse me. So, yeah, um, okay. so there, there you go. That's, you know, learning, just learning a little bit piece by piece. So. They, they, they took me at face value and they said, don't give me a lot of information. So uh, they're, they're really doing <laughs> it's that. totally okay. <laughs> I still <laughs> can read it without any information. <laughs> well, why don't we go do this? Folks, uh, we're, we're, we're getting questions in, but I want to see a lot more. Uh, feel free to call in 952-946-6205. That's 952-946-6205. Populate your questions also in the comments. We'll read them as well. I want to take my first break. When we come back, we're going to take more questions and uh, we're just going to keep the show going. This is very, I love these evenings and I'm, I'm looking forward to hearing all the questions you all have to ask. You're listening to Ghost Box Radio on AM 950. Reach your highest level of consciousness and well being with metamorphosisconnections.com. Metamorphosisconnections.com is an online directory of the best holistic and metaphysical practitioners to help you make your most informed choices. You can search metamorphosisconnections.com for classes, events, wellness and life coaches, plus metaphysical products and shops. You can also search for a wide array of healers from all modalities, including EFT, sound healing, energy healing, light therapy, ancestral healing, shamanic healing, reflexology, past life regressions, hypnotherapy, yoga, and more. And if you're not sure where to start, the search feature on metamorphosisconnections.com is tailored to help both those who know what they are looking for and those who are just starting. Come explore the possibilities for your higher self by visiting metamorphosisconnections.com. Their experienced practitioners can guide both beginners and those that are already on their spiritual journey. That's metamorphosisconnection.com, your link to direct you on your spiritual transformation. Did you know that spiritual awakening is not all love and light? Surprise! Inner demons, ego deaths, and tower moments are on the horizon. But while life might hand you some harsh lessons, we've got the antidote to soothe your weary soul. Why not try a dragon's bloodbath? Or schedule a Reiki aura repair? With books, herbs, talismans, candles, and more, we put the Shazam in shadow work. 
Visit Magus Books at 1848 Central Avenue Northeast in Minneapolis or MagusBooks.com. Greg Bakken here. I've told you about the out-of-the-world roast beef sandwiches at Maverick's Real Roast Beef, but I haven't told you about their Philly steak sandwiches, turkey bacon avocado sandwich, BLT, crispy chicken, fish sandwiches, brisket, or pulled pork. Okay, you get the idea. They make a lot of delicious food to the same standard as their famous roast beef sandwiches, and now I'm starving. I'm going to go to Maverick's Real Roast Beef off Lexington and Roseville, and you need to go too. Check out their menu at maverick'sbeef.com. Are you one of thousands of individuals who know you have psychic abilities but don't know how to tap into your higher self? Refined Divine is an extremely gifted psychic medium who offers classes that can help you reach your goals. Refined Divine holds classes Monday and Thursday at our two locations and via Zoom. Classes consist of manifestation, learning psychic abilities, shadow work, and healing trauma. Refined Divine has helped thousands, and she can help you. This is Psychic Medium Deb. You can go to refinedivinepsychic.com. And join me over at Billy's in Anoka, along with Char Savoy, on May 1st at 6.30 p.m. for Ghost Stories and Beyond. Uh, we're going to be playing some spirit recordings, whether it's going to be recordings that uh, we picked up through our years of uh, paranormal investigation or ones that we really like. Like today, I posted a, a picture of uh, what could be a possible Bigfoot uh, from the 50s and 60s. Uh, I think, uh, you know, that stuff is really fun to kind of uh, go through and share with everybody. Once again, that's May 1st, 6.30 p.m. Uh, that's going to be at Billy's Bar and Grill in Anoka. $10 to get in. Uh, does not include food, but don't forget, uh, burgers are half price. Once again, we go talking about food again because I'm always hungry. I don't know. Uh, I just, uh, you know, Deb, I, I, I wonder, that's my question. Will I ever not be thinking about food 24 hours a day? Because honestly, that feels like what I do all the time. And I love it, actually. Uh, the answer is no. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, no, that I'm not. No, you won't ever stop because that's your joy. You love it. I you do. know, and so I do. do I. And so who cares? Well, yeah, you know, I love what we love. We, we love what we love and I love talking about it and, and everything else. So yeah, no, it's, it's absolutely. Now, uh, once again, half folks, price burgers, I wear. <laughs> right, Anything exactly. half price is Right. No kidding. No <laughs> kidding. Uh, once again, folks, uh, I do uh, implore you to we, we've talked about this before. When you're getting a reading tonight uh, from uh, a psychic medium, refined divine, you're just getting a snapshot. You're just getting the one question you have answered. But there's more to a reading than just that. And that's why uh, please go to refined divine psychic dot com. You can go there, schedule a full reading. Uh, you know, you can see that she knows what she's talking about so if it's just one question and she's getting it right imagine a full reading so uh definitely uh you know and and this is this it's all reciprocal it all supports everything when you you know when you're getting a when you're getting a uh one question reading it's also nice to support the person who's giving it to you by doing getting a full reading at some point that, that's just kind of nice how it works that's just me saying it at least uh do you have any retreats coming up Yes. Um, so our May 17, 18, 19 retreat, I have one spot left, completely full, except for one spot, which is awesome. Um, August 23, 24, 25 in Sauter, Wisconsin. We have five spaces left in that one. And then we have the August 30th retreat um, and we have 10 spots left in that one. So you can go to our website and all of the information there about our upcoming retreats. We also have some one day retreats coming up May 5th is our next one. That one is going to be reuniting with your soul's purpose. And then we have June 16th. And that one's going to be on manifestation and aligning with um, learning how to manifest your best life. That's, that's great. And then <clears throat> as we talk about too, uh, because we get a lot of, you, we're getting a lot of people on the program who have, you know, that they're, that they're kind of like, the, the, the shell is cracking when it comes to the, to the gifts wanting to come out and needing the help to kind of understand where they come from. And you offer a lot of classes about how it, you know, how you can do that basically. Yes. 
Um, I channel every single class. So the classes are not led by me. They're honestly led by spirit, 100%. I'm able to remove myself and allow spirit to come through and teach the class as they would like. And every single class is so incredibly different by who attends because it's always channeled to the people there. And we're telling you people that have anxiety, people who have depression, they take the classes and after they're done with classes, they have none of that left because they've learned to manage their gifts and they understand why they're hearing the things they hear and they're understanding why they feel the way that they feel and understanding that it's not a burden at all. It's actually a gift and how to use it. It's really quite amazing. And I would just really uh, ask people to take advantage of these uh, the, you know, these gifts that, uh, refined divine is sharing out. That's also to help you with your gifts because, uh, people like Deb, uh, you know, there's a lot of people out there who do what Deb does, but they don't do it to the ability that Deb does take advantage of that. You know, it's, it's worth doing. Well, and what's my, like one of, and one, of the, one, one thing with my abilities is that I'm able to be able to help you break through your blockages, which is just incredibly, insanely awesome to watch people flourish and for them to be able to feel good about themselves and to know that this has been all their lives and all of a sudden they're able to see something they never saw before or hear the way they possibly could hear. It's just magic. It really is. It's like $10 a class. You send more of that, more than that at Starbucks. No, absolutely. It's definitely so, folks. Uh, please uh, check it out. Uh, RefineDivinePsychic.com. I put it into the comments. Just click on it. Just check it out, okay? Um, and what we're doing here tonight is we're doing one question readings. This is, this is you know, when when a, a, a psychic does this, this is a gift to you all uh, to be able to just be like. I'm just going to give an hour of my time and I'm going to answer questions that are on your mind. So this is a great opportunity to take advantage of this. Let us know what's on your mind. Deb is going to help you. She's going to tell you what you need to know. And uh, I just, I, I just can't say enough about the, we've been doing this for a few months now. And uh, every time I'm so impressed, Deb, with what you are able to tell people and how you're able to help them. And so when you say that that's what makes you excited is that you can see them grow and help. I'm seeing it from a, you know my end as well of hearing how excited people are that you are able to help them in areas that they didn't, uh, they didn't uh, know they could get help in. Yeah, it is. It's incredible. It really is. And I'm just as shocked as you, honestly, you guys. When it comes through me, I can observe it. And I'm just as shocked as you. I'm like, wow, psychic as bleep. That, <laughs> well, look at you. You know what? Not every, you know what? Everyone grows on this program, don't they? You know, I mean, the, the people you're helping, the people who might swear a lot and they have to really control themselves. It, 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 Adam, what do you think? I mean, it, it, does it bring a tear to your eye or is that just me just, you know, tearing up over here? No, you're right. There is a lot of growth. And honestly, since we've started these uh, one question readings with her every other week, it seems like the chat also gets a lot busier and a lot happier when she's on as well. Yeah. So we're going to do that. And so put your questions into the comments. You do get to the front of the line uh, by calling in 952 Nine four six six two zero five nine five two nine four six six two zero five. Don't be shy. Uh, you can hear Adam's voice. He's very kind. He's a very nice person. And you, but you have to get to him before you can get to to Deb. So uh, just give a call. But let's go to the let's go to the comments. Mister John says something knocked. Wait, something keeps knocking on my patio door nightly, but no one there. What do you think? Well, it's me, John, first of all, and you you take too long to answer the door. Uh, but uh, there might be something else, Deb. I don't know. Yeah. So um, actually, when I look into the energy of the knock, it, it does look, it very much looks like it's a lost soul. Um, John, you have a lot of gifts of your own, right? You feel in you knowing things are there and you can sense it, correct? Can you give me a yes for that? I can answer for him. But John, if you can answer, please. Yes. Mm hmm. Okay. Yes. Because what they're what they're giving what they're giving me is that it, 
it's because they know that you can, right? So when you know, they know that you can, like you send out this beacon, right? And so the souls know that you can hear them and they know that you can see them and you can sense them. And so when that's happening, you know, they will come to you just because they can, because the more energy we give to them and the more energy we acknowledge them by us giving that attention, it grows their uh, physical energy on this earth so they can be more present. So every time he does a little knock, 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 and it is male, um, then he gets more energy from your acknowledgement. And so then he has more power. You know how they used to say, like, don't talk about Bruno, you know? Yeah. So like, if you keep looking at that and keep paying attention to it and we keep acknowledging it, then it grows. Next thing you know, we have shit flying off the walls and we have doors flying there open. We, and we have, you know, we have all kinds of, oops. <laughs> <laughs> we have all kinds of we have all kinds of stuffy stuff happening and then understanding that when we pay attention to it then that makes it grow so with that energy what i would do is i would put some shungite outside of your um door shungite is a really good deterrent and then using that sage outside of your space and inside of your space um and then not paying attention to it don't give it any attention the more we talk about it the more it grows 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 and i know sometimes you have to talk about things to you know to help get people to help us but understand that when you're in your home especially and people come in your home and you talk to them about that that makes it grow and then we don't want any poltergeisty things so we just want to make sure that we aren't giving it energy well, and, and John asked the question. I, I, I feel like I, I feel like I have to kind of uh, uh, just agree with a little bit of uh, maybe a clarification on this. Is that good or bad? And, and John, forgive me for maybe uh, I'm, I'm going to be very careful here. You know, John is a beacon and uh, John has also been, you know, instrumental. When I talked before about the the uh, spirit that we passed uh, crossed over at the Beatty mansion in, in Kansas, John was the one that I said was like the linebacker that we're pushing through. So, I mean, he does do uh, some of that stuff as well. I think, uh, I think that's where, um, you know, I, it's, it's confusing to me too. Cause I mean, I think good P good spirits come to him, but are you saying that in this particular case that it's maybe not a great spirit or, um, so it feels low level, low level. Yeah. It feels low level. Yeah. When I look into the energy of it, it feels low level. And so we don't want to add to that, you know, so we want to ignore that. And so if it was somebody coming for help, I would be able to feel that. I would feel that right away. Like okay. that's someone coming to you because you can feel them, see them, hear them. You know, they, they have a message, but that's not what I feel at all. Like, I feel like, Knock, 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 knock. Give me more energy. Give me more. Give me more. Okay. All right. Uh, John, I, I, does that help at all? Um, and uh, that's, I appreciate, I, I personally appreciate uh, the clarification on that as well. Once again, we're doing one question readings with uh, Psychic Medium Refined Divine. Uh, you can put it into the comments uh, as, as people are doing so, but you can also call in because we like hearing your friendly voices. 952-946-6205, 952-946-6205. Let's see here. Where did I lose him? Arthur had a question. Uh, he's, he asked, I have spirits who come to me at night. They ask me to find their remains and identify their killers. I can do it all myself. I can't do it. Excuse me. I can't do it all myself. I need help. So Arthur, what I would suggest is that you find yourself a spiritual community. Um, you feel like you're alone. When I look in your energy, it feels like you don't have a lot of people around us. And so what I would suggest for you to do is to find yourself some like-minded um, beings and really hang with them and be able to express what you're feeling and knowing and seeing and all the things. Because to me, it feels like, like you're just like, somebody, please help me out here somebody please do something. Um, so what I'm going to offer is that you come to one of my classes for free. Um, Monday at five o'clock is my next class. If you'd like to send a message, I can send you the link for you to come to class because understanding that there's so much more that come, goes into this than um, what they're trying to say to you or what I can do for you here on this show. 
Okay, that's good. And and I, I and I will say uh, because Arthur has uh, uh, sent me a note before prior, and also um, he had uh, put stuff in the comments before. I think that is exactly what he's looking for. Uh, and uh, I, I, I hope, and yes, and he responds, uh, yes, please send me a link. So yes, but you gotta, you gotta let her I know. Will. You have to reach out to her though. Yeah. Okay. You have to send me a, a message on Refine Divine. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Over at Facebook, Refine Divine, send her a note and uh, she will be able to set you up for that. You said Monday class, right? Yes. Monday okay. at five o'clock. Yep. Awesome. Uh, let's see here. Once again, we're doing one question readings with Psychic Medium, Refined Divine. To do a full reading, uh, go to refineddivinepsychic.com. You can also, like we just talked about, you can uh, go check out the classes that she offers as well as the retreat. We've talked a little bit about the availabilities that are coming up. They do fill up, but they are worth it. Please go check them out. Uh, let's see here. Uh, where were we here? There was one other one that I wanted to get to. Uh, Jennifer asked the question, uh, what if you feel like or know you had the gift when you were a child, but they're, <coughs> excuse me, but they're gone now? So Jennifer, um, one thing I, I want everybody to understand is a gift never leaves us. We forget it. Yep. So anything that we are born with always stays with us. Anything that we've ever had can always be brought back. We've just forgotten. Our subconscious starts to take over and the consciousness of sleepwalking starts to take over the more part of our psychic parts of our brain. So we just don't um, remember. So what I do in my classes, Jennifer, is teach you how to remember. I don't really teach anybody anything new if you want to know the truth. All I do is uncover what we've forgotten and get you to see what you uh, could remember, all the possibilities of what you came here knowing. Because all little kids, if you look at them, they are the knowing. <laughs> they know to be goofy and happy and like, you know, full of life and talk to Aunt Barb up in the corner and talk to Sheila over there. As long as they aren't told that they aren't there, um, they'll just, you know, go along their merry little life talking to all the spirits and all the things and having the time of their life. And so it's about understanding that that stuff was just taken away because we, you know, went to school school and we have mass consciousness and all the things and that we just need to remember. So how, well, my classes is one way. Another way is meditation, um, dropping into yourself and, you know, getting into the knowing of who you are and kind of uh, sitting with that. Absolutely. And, you know, I, I do want to kind of point out, this is once again, just me talking. It's not, uh, you know, it's, 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 it's not Deb, it's not Deb approved messaging. Let's just put it that way. But I mean, the idea is that you know, I, I know it sounds like when like when we're we're talking about it and I'm talking about, hey, get a bigger reading, look at getting a bigger reading or saying you should take some classes. It's what we call putting in the work and putting in the work is very yeah. important to 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 get to where you want to be. It's not going to be a one question. One question is going to help you kind of see the you know that there is a path that may not give exactly what the path is but but you have to be able to put in the work and and that requires doing the classes and doing whatever else and i know that might sound down daunting to some people but it's very important to do you're not going to get it solved by asking yeah. and i'm not I, i'm not ragging on jennifer please know that i just made me think about it that you just you got to do the work to be able to get uh yeah. to where you want to be I don't have a magic wand, unfortunately. Right. <laughs> no wands over here. Uh, <laughs> you gotta, you gotta take steps. <laughs> That'd be great, though, wouldn't it? That'd be pretty amazing. Yeah. I'd be like, <laughs> 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 yeah. No. Now we only have, we only have one question currently left in the in the comments, which is a, a, appalling, quite frankly. Um, so it's everybody time must to be sleepy. I don't know. We got a lot of people watching. We actually have a lot of people watching. I can see it. I think everyone's just uh, uh, scared of us or shy tonight. There's no need to be scared of uh, Deb. And there's uh, I'm a nice guy sometimes. I'm all right. Um, so put in your questions. Give us a call. 952-946-6205. Let's take a break. When we come back, we're going to do more questions. We're going to talk about some other things. Uh, and uh, let's just, let's just uh, end the program on some uh, really great questions. This is 
This is uh, going to be a lot of fun. You're listening to Ghost Box Radio on AM 950. Have you ever met someone who not only can help you on a deep spiritual level, but also potentially change your life? Refined Divine is an extremely gifted psychic medium who travels the nation and lives right here in the Midwest. And she offers mediumship, mentorship, house and business parties, energy healing, palm readings, and so much more. Refined Divine has helped thousands and she can help you. Hi, this is Psychic Medium Deb. I cannot wait to hear from you. You can go to refinedivinepsychic.com. Greg Bakken here. Like you, I love good, fresh, delicious food. So I want to tell you about this treasure in Roseville called Maverick's Real Roast Beef. Maverick's has the best roast beef sandwiches I've ever had. Made fresh, every order. Add fries or onion rings dropped in the fryer when ordered, and you have a winning combination. Maverick's Real Roast Beef has a lot more than roast beef, so check out their website, maverick'sbeef.com, or check out their restaurant on Lexington in Roseville. If you own a holistic or metaphysical business and are looking to expand, then you need to be listed on metamorphosisconnections.com. It's a network where you can grow with like-minded practitioners and reach new clients. Metamorphosisconnections.com is an online directory you need to list yourself and your business. Our platform makes it easy for you to create listings of your products and services, and you can also choose to list your classes, events, and so much more. MetamorphosisConnections.com helps you create weekly and monthly promotional ads targeted towards your potential clients and promotes them for you via social media and newsletter. There are clients searching for your specialty right now. Let us help them find you. Start your listing today so you can share your own unique gifts and talents by finding the level of membership that best fits your needs. Let us help you reach your clients that are searching for what you do. Visit metamorphosisconnections.com and sign up today. The Tilted Tiki, located in downtown Stillwater, helps you get your tropical tiki vibe on with a large selection of fantastic tasting tiki cocktails served in unique and fun glasses, a menu of delicious food ranging from small bites, craft tacos, sandwiches, and more. Plus, don't forget they have live music Wednesday through Saturday nights. Located in downtown Stillwater, the Tilted Tiki is your tropical relaxation restaurant in Minnesota. Visit thetiltedtiki.com. And tomorrow night is my one of my favorite nights of the week. Wednesday is a favorite night. Thursday is a favorite night as well. As uh, If you watch us on Ghost Box Radio with Greg Bakken's Facebook page, it's Myth or Mystery at 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. That's going to be Miriam, Harlow, Ryan, and myself. We look at videos. We also take in, uh, you know, the viewers also vote whether or not a video is myth, mystery, or unknown. And tomorrow we're looking at appar- a video apparition pushes family out of home and then caught on camera. And then the other video is going to be late daughter visits mom at her birthday celebration. It is This is going to be fun uh, to go look at these videos, and it's, it's always a great night. So uh, definitely, please check us out, Myth or Mystery. It's at uh, the Ghost Box Radio with Greg Bakken Facebook page. That is 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. And then, of course, uh, afterwards, we're going to do a replay on Ghost Box Radio with Greg Bakken. Our guest is going to be Meg Bartlett. She is a dream interpreter and also a nightmare analyst. And so... It's it, this was back in December. We had this conversation. God, she's she is so interesting. You got to listen to the episode tomorrow. It's a, it's it's a great episode. Definitely check it out. We though are having uh, psychic medium refined divine. Uh, we're doing one question readings. You know, I was thinking, do you ever see like uh, uh, Deb? Do you ever see like the Simpsons <laughs> opening credits where it's like uh, at where he's in a nuclear power plant and behind him it says so many days without an accident and it's like a number that kind of gets removed i kind of think about that with you swearing like we had one episode without swearing and now that's back down you know one episode uh without swearing and now it's zero episodes again it wasn't bad though right it wasn't a horrible bad one right i don't know i don't know that's all interpretation you know what i mean i guess i guess if i guess if it's a swear that they don't want to hear I'm guessing that that it doesn't matter what word it is. I think that's uh, I think that's I'm guessing that's I'm under at. interpretation. 
yeah well we'll 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 see how that how that argument works uh hopefully we don't need to have it um so we're doing one question readings in our last segment here we got some people uh adding some stuff in um the chat which i love uh joanne says about myth or mystery love that show thank you very much it uh, it you know it's not my show which um it's amazing that i'm even promoting it no i'm just kidding but it's not my show Miriam and harlow they are um they work tirelessly to put that out there and i think i've seen you in the comments or maybe it's dave that i've seen in comments um a couple times during the show it's dave myth. he's obsessed with ghost box dave but watches I'm it all the time is he should be he's he's a, i've always liked dave i've always liked him i've always said that so um we also have amanda of uh, uh greetings from japan she says that's Thank awesome hi amanda uh please uh uh please uh go ahead and uh uh put in a question and thank you adam i mean this seriously I'm already off on a tangent and there's stuff we need to get done here. Uh, so I do appreciate that very much, Adam, for that note. We got some calls. Let's get to them instead of me just chatting here and trying to be amusing. Uh, let's go and see Anne. And Anne, welcome to Ghost Box Radio. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing well. Thank you. Thank you for calling. Do you have a question for Deb? Yeah, I'm wondering if you see Walter around me. Am I the somebody you were married to? No, but married adjacent. <laughs> what does adjacent mean? <laughs> like not not together? Is that what you're kind of saying? Like uh, still separate? No, but... I'm not legally. <laughs> No, oh, well, I mean, come, yeah, I mean, okay. Yeah, okay, okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So, spirit doesn't know paper, so a marriage to spirit is two people together in a relationship that is uh binding. So, he was uh, he was your partner, correct? Correct, okay. <laughs> Perfect. Yes, he's very much here. So um, you miss him greatly, don't you? If I'm feeling like your heart is just grieving sadness at times. It feels like it's really heavy for you. Yes? Yes. Yeah. Walter wants you to know that he is with you and you feel him most often when you are in bed ready for sleep he says that that's when he comes to you most because you're most open to it do you know what we say when we say that that you feel him when you're ready to go to sleep yes yeah so he wants you to understand that that is him every single time and that it's not just you being crazy because you want sometimes worry that you are crazy <laughs> But you're not at all. You're not at all. So Walter, <laughs> so Walter, when he was alive, he was a, a busybody, wasn't he? Oh, yeah. 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 Because he shows me always busy, busy, busy with his hands and always doing things nonstop. Um, a very heartfelt man. He really did love. The people that he loved were very close to him. He shows me that he... Um, that the way that he met you is actually kind of silly. It's something about the way he met you and who he met you through. What is that? Could you share that with me? No. <laughs> Not you don't want to share it? Okay. <laughs> Not on the radio. <laughs> He's trying to nope. out you, Anne. Why, why why would radio be a barrier it's not for our guests why should it be for you um <laughs> okay and i'm gonna i'm gonna leave it at that because we're, we don't want to make you uncomfortable but he is laughing hysterically i want you to know that <laughs> okay thank you so much well, really how was that helpful? yeah you're so welcome oh my gosh so much thank okay. you okay Thank you for calling. We appreciate it. Thank you, Ann. Uh, why don't we go on? Uh, Emily is on the line. Emily, how are you doing tonight? Oh, you know, same same stuff, different day, right? No, right. I'm okay. Okay. What 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 a question do you have for uh, Deb? Deb, honey, I am going through it. Okay. 
So I know I've been doing a lot of um, like spiritual changes and things. And the last, I would say two weeks, Hey, I am going through the most burnout and exhaustion I have ever felt in my entire life. I don't feel depressed, but I'm exhausted. I have brain fog. I want to know if this is related to some of my spiritual changes, or maybe is it a sign that um, my spirit guide is trying to reach me or something like that? Yeah. So Emily, what I'm hearing is leveling up. So when we get ready to level up, we're going to get rid of all of the bleep bleep stuff that uh, you accumulate inside of your body and you want to get rid of, right? So it's like all of our past relationships will start haunting us a little bit. Like you keep thinking about past stuff, correct? Um, You know, not so much relationships, but I think it's more like mistakes I've made in my life. And it's yeah, like watching a movie. Stuff. Like it doesn't even... Mean- yeah, yeah. Just past stuff. Yep. And so when we're getting ready to level up, what happens is that past stuff will come back and kind of nag at us because we need to release it. So it's about not really fighting it. But the movie comes in, we want to kind of just look at it and we say, okay, where have I grown here? Where have I, where have I evolved from where I was to where I am now? And so the tiring is, is that uh, spirit is trying to get you to sit down, acknowledge what is happening sit with it. Don't eat it away. Don't drink it away. Don't smoke it away. Don't talk it away. Sit with it because that's that heavy feeling. That's that tired feeling. That's that. I just want to lay in this couch and not move feeling. It's for a reason. And people generally miss this cue. It is for you to sit in it and for you to process through this so that you can move forward and level up. That makes sense. Somebody told me adrenal fatigue, and that actually all plays all into that. So that makes a ton of sense. Exactly. (laughs) You will feel better. Every time, every time we. You're not losing your mind at all, Emily. I promise. The level up is coming. It looks like it's about seven days out. But if you would just sit with this for a good 24 hours, I promise you, if you just call in, and hopefully none of your coworkers are listening, take the day off and sit with yourself and just go through it. Allow yourself to cry. Allow yourself to be mad and just just let it out of your life and you'll level up. See, I'm my own. I'm my only employee. I have my own business, so that's awesome. Because all I feel like doing is crying. <laughs> so that I, I feel you. You gotta let it out. You gotta let it out. You gotta let it out. I promise. Once you do, once you open up that faucet, you're gonna feel so much better. I promise. Oh my gosh, that's really, really refreshing to hear. Because I literally thought I was losing my mind. You're not. Okay. I promise. You're just getting Good. ready to level up. Good. All right. Thank you, Emily. Really Thank appreciate it. Thank you so much. That. All right. I'm um, going to move things around, along a little bit. We only have about uh, two and a half minutes left, so I want to get one or two more in. I'm going in the order that they have come in to me. Uh, Teresa asked the question, uh, my mom is currently on life support. Is she still with me? Um, okay, Teresa, so when I tap into that, um, she's in and out of her body. So I'm not sure what you mean by with me, but she's getting ready for the process. And so I feel like she's in and out, in and out, in and out. And that's why you're kind of wondering, like, is she still here? It's because there's a lot of like the, the in between happening. Because when somebody's body is ready to be done, right, and we're on life support, um, our souls will leave. They'll leave and come back, leave and come back, leave and come back. So there's always this like back and forth going and coming okay okay cool um i'm I'm gonna i have one more can we try to fit in one more yeah um uh ben asked the question over multiple spirit box sessions which i'm hoping he's closing out and grounding himself when he does it uh i've had voices come through because i feel like that that's what's happening i'm sorry i don't mean to jump on you here but i can already feel feel it. it i can feel it already and it's screaming ben uh, through each time saying my name. It sounds like the same voice each time. Is this a family member that passed on trying to get my attention or just a random spirit knows my name? Mm, that doesn't feel good. Um, no. When I read that and I get back into that energy, that doesn't feel good at all. Um, you have to make sure that you know what you're doing when you're doing it. Um, I wouldn't mess around with that. Yeah. Yeah. 
there is and it's 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 been going on for a while hasn't it been uh not to and not to publicly call you out i'm sorry it just said it just screamed out as you're not doing you're doing something that's actually making someone not happy yeah you and, gotta be uh, careful with what you're doing you know like i always tell me don't go poking around you know don't poke at things don't don't mess with things you know don't do just because you can don't see what's just there they don't like that like would you want somebody to come into your house and do that to you go poking around at you just to see what you can get you to say like that they own the space that they're in just like you own the space you're in and that's how they feel and they don't want to be agitated you know they don't want to be poked around that so it's important to make sure you know what you're doing when you're doing it and there's also a reason why you're doing it you know i i deb i'm feeling something like when i'm thinking about it and i'm seeing it i feel like there's some like kind of like something with shoulder back that's just kind of making me kind of curve you know it's just some there's something like physically like oppressive about this to me i don't like it yeah. <laughs> to be honest like i am just like seriously just stop fucking with that just stop oh i mean <laughs> don't do that just yeah, stop ben. doing that thanks for taking us off the air ben yeah ben just <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> this is uh uh you know once again psychic medium refined divine. She is with us every other Wednesday, and so she'll be back not Wednesday, but the Wednesday after, which uh is May something. Uh <laughs> I don't even know. Uh, but uh you can definitely check out everything that uh she is offering, including full readings, classes, retreats. Go to refinedivinepsychic.com. Deb, I always love it when you're on. Thank you so very much. It's radio. All right. We'll see you all tomorrow. Everyone take care. Good night. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Come on. You know, it's true.